All right, folks. So before I begin the recap for yesterday, uh, I took some epic selfies. I wanted to share these with the world. Everyone go on uh, Twitter and retweet my selfie post. Um, this is of utmost importance. And, you know, look at me. I've got my walkie-talkie on because I'm a professional protester. Look at me. Look, look at that. Isn't that an incredible specimen right there? It's great. Anyway, so yesterday was the 63rd consecutive day of protests in the city of Elizabeth City over the police murder and execution of Andrew Brown Jr. on April 21st, 2021. And uh, again, day 63, mother today will be day 64. And that, you know, that's a lot of days. But yesterday was day 63, and that's still a lot of motherfucking days. So it was raining, like, it was, yesterday was a motherfuck day for, when it comes to rain. So in the morning, it's great. And then it starts raining, and then it stops raining. And then I'm chilling in downtown. I'm chilling with some folks. We're outside. We're having a good time. Guess what happens? It starts fucking raining. And I'm thinking, oh, it's a light drizzle. It's a light drizzle. We don't have to worry about shelter. Guess what, motherfucker? A couple minutes later, it wasn't a night, nice drizzle. That motherfucking shit was blowing my fucking hat off. You know, I was, in, I was in a mess, right? It was a bad deal, right? And so we're stuck. We're stuck inside. And then the rain is like not stopping. And then it stops right before the protest. It stops at like 5.20, 5.30-ish. And then we start protesting at around 6. So pretty good. Pretty good. I don't believe in God. I think God is stupid. But if God did exist, right? Or if God like, you know, I believe I'm more in, in line with the simulation theory, right? You know, you just leave something on and then like you look at it at like, you know, you ever play The Sims and then you just leave The Sims on and then you wake up, you know, in the middle of the night to like do a few actions and then you go back to sleep. That's what I feel like. Someone woke up, they saw, oh shit, it's raining. Let me turn the rain off. All right, we're good. And then they went back to sleep. That's what I feel like. So, But anyway, I'm being a little wacky. So yesterday was day 63. Uh, and the reason why I mentioned the rain is because there are a lot of motherfucking puddles. And so my shoes have holes in them. So I wore flip flops yesterday. I was flipping. I was flopping. It was a lot of fun. And, uh, and so, yeah, so we go down water street, which is the street that is right next to the river. And, uh, again, it was raining like a motherfucker. So there's a lot of water on water street. Just kidding, actually, because water street turns into Southern Avenue. It's the same road. It's the same fucking road, but it turns into Southern Avenue, and that's where the water was. So the water wasn't actually on Water Street, but either way. Uh, so we go down Water Street, and then we uh, go to Southern Avenue, and we go through some neighborhoods. Um, uh, the protest overall lasted about two hours, and uh, it was a decent time. I had a good time. We had a bunch of people, like, you know, like, I'm not, I, when I say bunch, a bunch could mean anything. Like, a bunch is a very vague term. It could mean two people. It could mean 20 people. It could mean 300 people. So when I say we have a bunch of people, it doesn't mean anything. But we had, like, maybe two or three people join us as we were going through the protest that weren't there at the start, and that was pretty cool. I love when that kind of stuff happens. And uh, and so we're marching through the neighborhoods, and we go back through the, uh, the, uh, the water street, and uh, the water's a bit dried up at this point. Um, but overall, I would say yesterday was pretty decent. Um, you know, that was a good sign. If you aren't anti-racist, you are complicit. Very correct, very accurate uh, signage there. And uh, so, yeah, so today I want to remind people that people are going to be in Raleigh, uh, the state capital um, of North Carolina. And they are going to be protesting House Bill, I believe, 805, which is a bill that says that if you are in gatherings more than three people, you can be declared a riot. And if you are arrested for quote unquote rioting, you uh, will get a felony charge. So if you look at all these people, like, you know, look at the grandmas, people walking with canes, people with wheelchairs, this is a riot now. And I want to be very clear again, Howard Hunter, our Democrat, not Republican, we have a Democrat state representative right to uh the state legislature of north carolina our democrat ick uh state representative voted for this bill declaring wheelchair bound protesters as rioters howard hunter thinks that this woman in a wheelchair is a rioter howard hunter thinks that a woman walking with a cane is a rioter howard hunter thinks that a 70 year old grandmother is a rioter these are all rioters now in the mind of Howard shit fuck for brain sell out bitch boy motherfucking loser Hunter 3 he's the third one like Jesus Christ couldn't we stop at 2 like is 2 enough no we have Howard Hunter motherfucking 3 but either way uh so people um are going to be 
uh, going to rally today. And so I don't know if we're going to have as many people uh, at the protest in Elizabeth City today. Uh, but either way, we had a good showing. A lot of people don't show up in the rain. Uh, and so the numbers usually dwindle a little bit. But for like it just being like it was raining a little bit, you know, drizzling throughout uh, at certain points. Um, and so with that being said, you know, it was pretty decent. We had a good showing uh, of people that uh, came out. Um, and another thing as well, uh, I'll, I'll talk about that tomorrow. I don't know what the, the embargo is on that. But uh, either way, yesterday was a good day of protesting. Relatively standard, no incidents to report, which I guess is a good thing, but it makes for bad content, I suppose. But no real incidents to report. Uh, today, again, people are going to be in Raleigh, so I don't know what's going to be happening today. But I am staying in Elizabeth City. I will be covering whatever happens today, and uh, I'll keep you posted on Twitter.com. And uh, yeah, so if anyone has any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to let me know. And uh, fuck Howard Hunter. All my homies hate Howard Hunter. That bitch is about to lose his job. Yep, the motherfucking homies. Dead air segment, damn right, bitch. We're talking about the Left for Dead campaign, dead air, right? God bless. I'm a gamer. What's the bill? I think it's 805. Yeah, here's the thing. Like, I personally, when it comes to the protests, right, I personally would love to be out there for 12 hours a day. But we're only being out there for like two hours a day, right? We are giving them our planned routes ahead of time, right? You know what I And they're still trying to call us rioters. And that's the thing that's fucking crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. If you see a fucking 70-year-old grandma, right waddling through puddles right at a protest saying no justice no peace and you think to yourself holy shit let's bring out the riot cops i mean right it's like you are a fucking lunatic and you deserve to be locked in a fucking jail cell for that kind of shit like that's crazy like it's one thing to think that but it's the another thing to like like vote on legislation that makes that a reality fucking ridiculous Let's get her, right? Exactly. Establishment does nothing but lie, absolutely. I mean, the whole thing's just a mess. Again, like, the whole thing's just a mess. <laughs> 